Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be discussing the fundamentals and fancy setups. I'm sure you've heard this a lot, especially in Jiu Jitsu. If you're a white belt, focus on the fundamentals. Don't start applying things like rubber guard and worm guard, etc., because you think they're fancy and you think they're unexpected, and thus you're going to beat someone who is advanced, uh, etc. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are teachers listening to this and the same should apply to judo. It's it looks very different in judo but it is still the same idea. So we think that some type of feint or some type of foot movement is going to create the surprise element and thus finally that throw is going to work. And I'm here to tell you that if you cannot do your throw in sparring in a very basic form it will never work regardless of the setup or the feint. And um, once we dive deep into the details, that idea somehow escapes us and we tend to forget it. But before we do that, please make sure you check out my newly published book, The Origins and History of Judo, bilingual in modern Japanese and English. The French and Japanese version will be out very soon. Please, the link will be below. So first, we're going to talk about the foot sweep. So everyone talks about uh, feints and timing and uh, grips, etc. But you have no idea that the very basic form can actually work. So it's really about creating that offset. It's really about uh, getting out of the axis and really shooting the hips. And the Japanese say it's sweeping with the hips. We look at kata a version and think it's no way applicable when in fact you need far less. Look at this. Grips, goes out of the axis and then shoots his hips and sweeps and works magically. And uh, big guys or small guys, look, big step to the side, shoots the hips forward, sweeps and it works wonderfully you say this is old it will never work today false it will 100 percent work today gets a grip goes to the side and shoots the hips forward sweeps you don't need big movements or fancy setups so people will look at this and say ah it's a it's a demonstration so it's not going to work while in fact all the fundamentals are in it so it's when you're foot sweeping okuri ashi harai it's about you either go out of the axis to the side or diagonally so you go out and then with the hips they're gonna make movements with their feet try to catch up with you and also the the sudden movement out of the axis is also gonna startle them and that's all you need and then shoot the leg across it's sweeping with the hips. Don't leave your butt backwards. It will never work. It's really the hips. So we look at this again. We think it, it's, uh, it doesn't work. It's, but as you can see from competition examples, you don't need much movement. If your throw cannot work from one and two, it will never work regardless of the setup. So this is a diagonal example. Now let's take a look at something very fancy. And of course, Fabio Basile, as you can see, he always has these little steps. You can, you have to really slow down and see them. So it's, he says, if he makes one step, I'll make two. So here he moves them across the mat. And then he makes this, what we call piétinement in French. So here, uh, this is Jacques Lebert demonstrating this. This is an old DVD. He is, I believe he competed in the 64 Olympics. So. Um, you have many setups to do this. You have this crossing your feet to get the movement started. The second one is uh, doing three steps or when they do one or two and then you sweep. So these are very complicated and doing them requires a lot of repetition and a lot of explosiveness as you do them. I film myself doing them and I look not only slow but very weak and... Uh, when you do these fancy setups, it's if you you have to first work your basics. So here, Inoue, Uchimata. One, two, 
made it work wonderfully remain standing this is the world championship so again if you're good even if they know you're gonna do the technique they will not be able to stop you from the fundamentals of your grips from your movement and just if you're too good you're too good you cannot be stopped uh, people know uh, Fion is gonna go out and do a knee slice and then submit them from side control or whatever and still they cannot stop her here again modern example one two go up and uh, later when people know you too well and they know that they are gonna be expecting this technique and also uh, they're close to defeating you and you can feel it then you start to add these uh, fancy setups just to confuse them a bit maybe here as you can see like a false uh, step that he does before goes in, uh, going in and uh, of course we all know Ono's uh, very fancy spinning uh, Uchimata but also he was good in the one two or two steps and then started to add these this is this video I got it from Idrissi's uh, channel so it's uh, a training in Tenri so you can see uh, that little uh, feint with the hips rotate they will follow they create the opening and then you shoot your leg so if your uchimata cannot work in one two or the one step like komuro these fancy stuff will never work so don't think that it's not working because it's too basic or too fundamental or uh, it's not uh, you know as we say the level of competition is too good now and people will just expect it and uh, it becomes obsolete absolutely false just look at the submissions that people win with at the UFC it's your basics it's your rear naked choke your arm bar your triangle etc etc and here again now you saw the foot sweep just one step across and sweep with good firm grips Uchimata one two same thing uh, if your uh, movement if your body movement is all synchronized and going in they will never stop it and this is the thing we all have that one guy in the club that we know what he's gonna do and he gets to do it uh, even if we try to stop him so it's a weakness on your part from your grips from your stance and also mentally you already defeated yourself before fighting them oh he will just be able to do it so i'm just gonna try to do something but no uh, and also he's good you have to work on your fundamentals otherwise nothing will work i don't care how fancy the rubber guard is or the uchimata spin is or those little steps before the sweep your fundamentals are everything and you can make them uh, work on any level notice all the great champions uh, they had a very fundamental technique that they did it and they were known for Inoue, Tsunoda, etc. If you have anything to add, let me know down below. Don't forget to check out my book and my Patreon. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.